All right, guys. So we just pulled up to the gym, and uh, today we got strength and conditioning portion of our summer training series. Um, if you haven't watched the first part, we're going to do three parts. So, you know, strength and conditioning is, is important, but it's not, you know, top priority when you're a uh, basketball because it's a skill sport. So we're constantly on the floor working and doing different things. Um, but now I do want to at least give you a chance to see uh, the stuff that you might not see when it comes to, you know, sprint training, uh, conditioning, uh, weightlifting. I don't know. I don't look real big, but uh, I do lift weights uh, because they force me to. Otherwise, I'd just play basketball. Hopefully, it gives you a pretty good scope um, of kind of what I do on a daily basis in the summertime. Whether you are, you know, a young kid coming up and want to play Division One basketball, or you know, just want to find your passion and whatever it is first find your goals and then work backwards so that's what this is I hope you guys are enjoying them um, trying to get better at them more of this kind of thing where I'm talking to you uh, a little bit more natural and organic I don't want this to be you know a highlight film or you know just all you know music overlaid me doing basketball stuff because uh, that's not going to get you anything I want this to be something that you can really take from and build off on your own so if you're enjoying it thank you um, and uh, hopefully you guys are tuned in for part three coming next week. Another early morning in West Virginia. Let's go get after. All right, so today, probably my least favorite day um, is strength and conditioning day. So we got conditioning first, 18 22s. And now those just might be numbers to you, but for us here, it's uh, one minute and we got to go down back down back under 22 seconds and then 38 seconds is our rest time quick math uh, and i got to do that 18 times so we're gonna be running for a little bit here and then go get a lift in i don't really like it unless it's got a ball involved but well that sounds weird unless it's got a basketball <laughs> involved <laughs> all right let's run let's run Better be sure if you want to play college basketball or any college sport. Could be sleeping right now. 15 seconds. Get ready for the Big 12, though. Are you ready? <sighs> All right. Conditioning done. 15, 16 minutes. When I'm done playing basketball, when I'm sitting around on the couch, I'm like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do an Ironman or an ultra marathon or a marathon or something like that. And then I have conditioning days, I'm like, the hell would I want to do that for? Whew, those guys are different. Hmm. <clears throat> All right guys, we just finished up, knocked out our 22s for the day. And now we're gonna go get after a little bit in the weight room. Now, before anybody comes after me in the comments, I know I'm not a weightlifter. There's other places on YouTube you can go to watch guys who know what they're doing in the weight room. I just want to give you another glimpse into what it, what it's like for a you know D1 athlete, basketball player on a summer day. Hope you're enjoying the beach though. Let's go lift.
Sometimes I gotta bring her in and just that added motivation, that's all. <laughs> just kidding, she never asked me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that's all. Thanks for watching guys. Once again, just trying to give you a glimpse into what an off-season workout looks like. Prepare for a season in the Big 12. That was strength and conditioning. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.